All right, in business news this morning, Canada's trade surplus has hit its highest level in three years. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with a little perspective. And Haley, I'm just wondering if this will give Trump ammunition. I absolutely think it will be. When we look at the sectors that are really driving this surplus, which hit $5 billion dollars, between Canada and the U.S. for the month of April, according to StatsCan. What's driving that? The automobile sector, energy sector, as well as softwood lumber, all areas that have really come under attack by the Trump administration. Now, it's important to note, and this is noted by RBC economist Nathan Jansen in an investor's note, that these numbers really reflect the trade relationship before those softwood lumber tariffs came into effect. Uh, Brian DePrato at TD also noting that Canada's had a very strong first quarter that is not likely to be repeated. But this certainly could give fuel to the Trump administration in negotiations. We will likely see this sur surplus shrink a little bit moving forward, but it still doesn't bode well for an administration that really doesn't want to see any surplus from any trading country with the U.S. Mm -hmm. And in other news this morning, uh, a lot of Vancouver bike shops upset now that we're seeing Moby, the bike sharing service, expand into Stanley. Park. Uh, how is this affecting them? We've heard from quite a few local private bike shop or rental owners. They're concerned that this is going to take away greater market share. There's five new stations opening up in Stanley Park, including right next to the Vancouver Aquarium and two locations on the north and south end of Second Beach. This is all within quite a prominent tourist destination. The city and Moby's parent company have maintained that this program is really meant for local residents. And to be fair, about three quarters of Moby's user base are in fact local residents, but local bike shop owners are concerned that because it's within Stanley Park and because all the stations are located relatively near each other, tourists could quite easily for $9.75 a day travel well within Stanley Park using only Moby bikes. The pricing has been raised a little bit by Moby's parent company, but again, it's still quite competitive with local bike shop owners who are concerned that they're going to lose even more business. Absolutely. All right. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver joining us today. Thanks, Haley. Thank you.